Hello everybody, Azumi here, and on to the EX Cenophytes. The first one is going to be Vidofnir EX, and first in my team is Alicia. Alright, second is going to be Voxy. Third is Rhoda, just, you know, all water, water gear. Rhoda, Rhoda does all the healing. And last but not least is going to be Fully Awakened Marmalade. Alright, here we go. Alright, so um, Awakened Vidofnir, Awakened KFC, whatever you want to call him, is in the ranged row, is beast, and is grounded. His action skill Flame Tornado does 140% fire magic attack damage and burn for 3 turns to the 3 farthest enemies. Plus a 20% bonus damage against Yotun. Burn applies to Aesir, Humans, Therians, Yotuns, and Elves. Um, his auto skill does fire magic attack and burn and flame bound to all. But burn and flame bound only applies to Aesir and Therians. Also, he applies Abyss Veil Flames to all of its allies. And what that actually does is it increases the amount of damage they do and gives them a... Um, ups their fire resistance. And also lets them do a counterattack when they're hit by anything other than water. And uh, neutral damage. So keep that in mind. You're only going to want to use neutral damage because you're going to get hit with that. And when you get hit with the counter-attack, it also um, greatly re reduces your skill gauge. So, makes it kind of a problem to fight. Um, next, we're going to move to the Flame Filzy, which does a fire magic attack to the nearest enemy. Also, restores HP and quick for vi to Vidofnir for three turns. So, might want to get rid of him rather quickly. Um... Also, the Flame Bird restores HP to itself and does a fire attack to the farthest row and grants an attack barrier to the back ally row. So, keep that in mind. It's probably going to, I think that's going to be um, him, the Bird himself and Vid Vidofnir. I don't think that covers the Filzy. Okay, so um, some other heroes you can use that I'm not using are... Definitely going to be Musica, which is the lucky for this fight. I don't have her, but I have enough characters to where I don't have to worry about it. This fight is considered to be one of the easier ones. Um, like a lot of other fire-based fights, Rat God, Canoe, Kanoe works pretty well. Um, you could use Awakened Nautica, definitely Sorticia. Um, Summer DL works pretty well. Uh, Vindica Vindicator Gratius. Um, you can use Grace. A lot of different choices for this fight. And, like, it's a lot easier if you have somebody like Marmalade on your team who also gives you the Abyss Veil Flame support of, like, 30%. So, it, you know, it lets you do more damage to him in general while taking less damage. So, it works pretty well. And get rid of that um, hawk in the filzy, so no more healing and no more quick. Hit him with some debuffs here, which Voxy does. And Voxy is really the whole reason I can do this fight without having, um, on auto, without having Musica. Boxy is um, really OP in this, so and a lot of other stuff too. Almost got him here, about half a health bar left. And of course, like I, um, you, Rhoda takes care of all the healing. It, it's 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 plenty enough. You don't need to run any other healing gear. Um, if you don't have Rhoda, then you could use, like, Sorticia or something. She'll probably work pretty well, or Mavis. But Voxy's, um, 
damage up to beast works really well. Um, you could use regular DL probably to get a little bit of um, damage up, but keep in mind she's going to get CC'd a little bit. And there we go. Let's check and see who did the most damage. I bet it's Foxy. No, Silesia is the MVP. Wow, well, there you go. It was really close. Thank you for watching.